I'm Larry Keglin. I'm the artistic director of Keglin & Company and choreographer. And we formed the company in 2003, and here we are today. So yeah, working in video and uh, sharing video is relatively new to me and new to my company. But um, maybe what may be interesting is how it began for us was we needed to sell $250 benefit tickets. And a board member suggested that uh, let's look at the pricing of sending hard copy invitations versus making a newly produced video. And we decided let's go with the newly produced video. And, um, you know, the, the audience for the video was so much larger than the 2,000 hard copies we would have mailed. Um, I think what's interesting about making the video for me was uh, do we use documentation dance and post it, which you see often, which I think can look dry, or do you develop a new video? And we decided to uh, just go for a new video. We copied another nonprofit and their invitation that we really liked, and we, we used that as our source. And um, yeah, we sold, you know, about $200, $250 tickets in a very short amount of time. I mean, my motto is short, sexy, sweet, leave them wanting more. I've got, I see so many videos that um, are just go on just maybe 10 seconds too long. It's all collaborative to me, and it's it's about leaving um, many options open, and not about just taking the dance and recording the dance. But how do I make this dance appropriate, and how can I make how can I work be, behind the lens and not um, just document? And so um, it's very being very quick on your feet, coming very prepared to the shoot. We just shot yesterday, and it took eight hours. We shot about an hour and fifteen minutes of material of which will be edited to 45 seconds. To, to be honest, the, the one video of mine that's gotten the most hits on YouTube was taken from a cell phone camera <laughs> that I had no clue somebody was taking. I did an NYU showing and made a really fun piece to an 80s song, and that has been the one thing that's gotten the most hits. <laughs> What's most important is we can talk about all this, but it has to be great, it has to be engaging, and um, it has to be current. And the people who are searching YouTube, that's the one they wanted. And so we want to capture what's exciting. And, and not just about dance, but we're talking live performance. So what's exciting about performance? What is thrilling about going to the theater and how to, how to communicate that in a 30 second video spot? And I, just an example, yesterday we weren't shooting, we did shoot split leaves for sure, but we also shot a lot of close-ups. I mean, there were a lot of like, there were, the final shot of the day was um, a guy unzipping, unzipping the back of this woman's dress and reaching and pop the bra released. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then one guy just ripping the shirt open. And um, when you see that on, as a close-up, it was so hot. <laughs> and, it, and it doesn't translate as dance, it translates as... Storytelling. <laughs> that's, what, that's another point that I want to drive home, is that I, I, I'm thinking a lot of times nonlinear in making dance. We put B with C and it's, a, it's not working beginning to end, but the director, the collaboration with the director was very much, we brainstorm, we brainstorm, he goes, but Larry, what's the story? You know, and whether or not an audience gets it in a 45 seconds spot, he wanted to know the story so that he could, that could inform his editing and um, the direction. 